one of my super big Ironman training days, I would do only five of these days over the entire season, where I would swim about 30 minutes, get out of the water, bike 150 miles, seven hours, and then get off my bike and run 30 minutes. So it was a, it was an eight-hour training day. And the way I would do it is that, you know, the swim would be pretty steady, but not super fast. And then the bike ride, the first half would be just steady, kind of at Ironman pace. And then the second half of the bike ride, the second 75 miles, which is, you know, that's a long ride in itself. Then I would just push it way beyond Ironman pace faster as long as I could hold it and then I'd back off and then I'd push it again and I'd back off, push again, back off. And then when I got off the bike and ran, I would run literally those 30 minutes as fast as I could. That was a big demand on my body. And that was way beyond anything that anybody who's sane would even think about doing more than a few times throughout the year.